today's video, I am going to go over my uh, how-to for installing uh, my Tilton uh, 6000 series um, hydraulic release bearing. So um, this seems to be a pretty pretty easy, straightforward install. Uh, <clears throat> so I'm gonna need a straight edge. and a digital calipers. We need to measure the distance between the uh, bell housing uh, where the transmission face bolts up to it <clears throat> to the uh, clutch fingers. So let's go do that first. Push this until I hit one of these clutch fingers. Okay. That looks like about it. So I got, it says I got two and seven sixteenths here, but let me uh, tighten up the caliper and try again. it's a bit much so let me loosen it up so I'll try that yep so it's a it's two and three eighths um so my distance between the clutch uh fingers and the bell housing was two and three eighths but I gotta subtract uh 332 uh which is the uh, thickness of my straight edge. So I'm just gonna do this into fractions, uh, into decimals. So I'm gonna do the, so three divided by eight is, uh, so I need a 2.375 is what I got, but I'm gonna subtract the, uh, the 332. So three divided by 32 is 0.093. So I'm gonna subtract the point zero nine three from from that and um so so the two point three seven five minus point zero nine three so that the actual distance um was uh two point two eight two which the closest fraction that I could find to that was uh, two and nine thirty seconds. So that's that's basically like the actual distance. Once I take away the uh, the thickness of the straight edge. So now we have to set set the uh, the distance on the release bearing. So uh, I called Tilton and. Um, they said the uh, the top hose is gonna be my bleeder is the so the uh, hydraulic fluids gonna come in on the bottom side and then this is just the top side is gonna be a bleeder so it's gonna go in like this So it's gonna go something like this. Okay. So I already have the threaded sleeve in here, which is back here. So basically, um, what you want to do is just push the threaded sleeve in all the way, and then just unscrew the release bearing until you get that distance you want which the distance I uh, I want is two and nine thirty seconds if you want to look back over here minus minus the point one two five air gap that they want so that is gonna leave me with two point two eight two minus 
2.125 equals 2.157. That is the distance that I want between the transmission face and the the end of the release bearing um, but I have to take into account the thickness of this so um, I want 2.157 but actually I need it to be a little bit smaller than that because of the thickness of this so I need to subtract the 330 seconds from this which is the 0 0.093, so I subtract the 0 0.093 from this, because when I'm measuring, I'm measuring up to here, um, but I actually need to measure up to here. 2.157 minus the uh, 0 0.093 is 2.064 is what I need to see. 2.064 so according to Tilton um, the air gap can be 0.125 to 2.200 so um, basically this would be at the 0.125 so if I'm a little bit over that's fine because I can land it anywhere in this range. I need about two and a sixteenth, but okay, so sixteenth, five sixty-four. Let's see what five sixty-four is. Point zero seven. Let's do five sixty-four, and I'll be slightly over the point one two five. So I want to see two and five sixty-fours on this measurement which is, I might as well just set it up right now, 2 and 5, 64. Right there, 2 and 5, 64. So basically, dang, it's like already there. So basically, wow, that's like, right yeah that's like right there so two and five sixty four so yep now if it wasn't right there how would you adjust it you just keep spinning it oh, okay so you either so watch let's try like spin it out a few times and then you see that it won't even like reach it so you see how much of a gap i have now so that's how you adjust this thing you just turn it until you get get the spec that you need right there so I just turn it back a little bit till it lines up with this hole right here so so now that we got so right here we're gonna install this uh, uh, this stud that is gonna prevent it from turning so you see how you turn it that's how you make your adjustment so you don't want it to turn so I'm gonna add some Loctite to this guy add some Loctite to him get this guy in here let me get my torque wrench The instruction said to torque this one to 16 pounds. 16 pounds. So I'm going to do 16 pounds right there. Get this guy. All the way in there. This is actually a pretty easy install. 
Once you wrap your head around it. Okay, so that. There you go, 16 pounds. So now I'm going to have to, so this the adjustment's already where we want it. So slide this guy out, this out of the way. Um, so one thing I forgot to, I don't know if I mentioned was the piston has to be all the way in because this, this guy comes out and that would give you like a wrong measurement. So it's got to be all the way in. And are you helping? Are you helping Amelia? Let's do one final, one final measurement. One five sixty fours, right there. Barely touches. Oh, good job, Amelia. Got these lines set up. So one thing Tilton recommended me was to securely fasten these two. Uh, they said that the the clutch spinning can really wipe these guys out so they recommended that I secure these so I am using one of the one of the bolts that holds the transmission to secure these two this torque this bolt to I'll just do about 30 pounds for this one and this job would be all done.